All right, this is fifth grade, module two, lesson 11, where we are continuing to multiply by decimals. Uh, this time, we're going to really focus on using that standard algorithm, and but using estimation to reason about the placement of our decimal to make sure that what we're doing and the answer we think we're getting really does make sense. So to begin, let's estimate this product. And I, I think... I think we're just going to do the first problem here, problem A. So 2.42 is really about 2. And 12 is, you know, that's good enough, 12. So 2 times 12 is 24. So that's good enough estimation. So we know our answer should be around 24. So let's multiply. Now, this 2.42, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply it by 100 so that we can turn it into a whole number. So 242, and then the 12 can stay 12, because that's perfectly fine. So now we have 242 times 12. So I'm going to write that down here. 242 times 12, and let's uh, multiply. All right, so 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 2 is 4. And then we're going to put a zero here because this 1 is really a 10. So 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 2 is 2. And now we can add. And we get 2,904. But that's not our answer because, remember, we multiplied by 100 at the beginning to turn the 2.42 into a whole number. So now we need to take this answer, divide by 100, so that we get our proper answer, which is going to be 29.04, because when you're dividing by 100, that means you're going to really move that decimal point two places over to the left. And our estimation was 24. Our actual answer is 29.09. Those are pretty darn close. So we know that we are reasonable. All right, let's practice using a word problem. It says a slice of pizza costs a buck 57. How much does 27 slices cost? Apparently, you are buying pizza for a lot of friends. So we are going to multiply 1.57 times 27. All right, so let's set that up in that standard way. But we're going to multiply this guy by 100 so that we can turn it into um, a whole number. So that gives us 157 times 27. And now we're free to multiply. So 7 times 7 is 49, carry the 4. 7 times 5 is 35, plus 4 is 39, carry the 3. 7 times 1 is 7, plus 3 is 10. We're going to put a 0 here because this 2 is not really a 2, it's a 20. So 2 times 7 is 14, so we're going to carry the 1. And then 2 times 5 is 10 plus 1 is 11, so we're going to carry the 1. And then 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. And then we add 9 and 0 is 9, 9 and 4 is 13, carry the 1. 1, 0, and 1 is 2, 1 and 3 is 4. And so our answer is 4,239, uh, 4, but that's not our final answer, because at the beginning, we multiplied by 100, so now we have to divide by 100 to return our answer uh, and return the decimal to its proper place, which is going to be 42.39, and really this is $42.39. Now, before we go moving on, we really should make sure this answer seems to make sense. So if we think about $1.57, right here, that's really close to two bucks. 27, eh, that's really close to thirty dollars. So we rounded up in both cases. Two times thirty is sixty. And our estimation was sixty. Our real answer is forty-two. 
those don't feel like they're all that close to each other, but we rounded up in both cases over here. So it's understandable that our estimation would be much higher than the answer that we got. So we know that $42.39 is a reasonable answer. And that is lesson 11, where we're using that standard algorithm to multiply, to multiply decimals. The difference being, like if you get 1.27 times 38, the difference is uh, we're going to be kind of explicitly multiplying by 100 to turn it into 127 and then multiplying. And then whatever our answer is, we're going to divide, whoa, we're going to, I don't like that, we're going to divide by 100 to return the answer to its proper place.